Good evening, you're watching the news from the South and of Oman television, but first, the headlines. The South and condemns the terrorist attacks on the Westminster Bridge in front of the British Parliament building. The Man Engineering Scheme and Investment Choices of the Project of Oman University and the City of Science and Technology are reviewed. The final race of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos' Cup for Camel Race is concluded in the Wilayah of Berka. At a cost of 100 million Obani rials, the Ministry of Tourism signs an agreement to develop the first phase of Korea touristic complex. Welcome to this news bulletin brought to you live from this news center of the Sultanate of Oman Television. The Sultanate has condemned the terrorist attacks that took place yesterday on the Westminster Bridge in front of the British Parliament building in downtown London in which five people were killed and 40 injured. The Sultanate affirms its stand and its firm solidarity with the United Kingdom to take all possible action to protect its national security and all necessary measures to prevent the recurrence of such attacks against innocent civilians. In this regard, the Sultanate extends its sincere condolences to the victims, families and wishes the injured a speedy recovery. A possible investment choices for the project of Oman University and the City of Science and Technology topped discussions during the third meeting of the International Advisory Committee of Oman University project. The meeting also touched upon phases of the project as part of the main engineering scheme in line with the academic research and executed strategies and plans. Experiences of some countries in the field of developing cities of science and technology and prestigious international universities were also reviewed at the meeting. It was presided over by Her Excellency Dr. Rawia bin Saud al Busaidi, a Minister of Higher Education and Member of the Higher Committee and Chairperson of the Main Executive Committee of Oman University Project. The final race of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos' Cup for Camel Race was concluded at Al Flaj Camel Race Track in the Wilayah of Barqa in the Governorate of Saud Al Batina. The four day race was culmination of the annual festival of camels from private stables for the 2016 2017 season, which was organized by the Royal Court Affairs, represented by the Royal Camel Corps. The Royal Camel Corps won the fifth round of the race and His Majesty the Sultan's Cup for Camel Race. It is worth mentioning that activities of the race started on Monday, the 20th of March, and witnessed great participation by camel breeders from various governorates of the Sultanate. The four day race included 13 rounds for Al Hajjaj Akbar and Al Hajjaj Jordan, category for a distance of four kilometers. At a cost of around 100 million Omani reals, the Ministry of Tourism signed an agreement to develop Korea touristic complex in its first phase. The project included three hotels, a water theme park, a golf club and an entertainment and shopping center. The project will be constructed in an area of 1,282,000 square meters and its first phase will be completed by 2021. It will be built in a coastal area of the Wilaya and will be close to the main touristic place in the Wilaya like Wadi Dika, Badam and Huyat Najim, or Najim Park. The project once completed will have 750 hotel rooms, 3,000 residential units, public facilities like restaurants, coffee shops and cinema theatres which will create job opportunities for citizens in the Wilaya of Khuriyat in the Governorate of Muscat. It will also contribute in activating and strengthening touristic movement in the Wilaya and therefore will be an added value to support the national economy. Latest weather charts indicate that the cloud formation will continue over eastern and western Hajar Mountains with chances of isolated rain beginning from today, Thursday, 23rd of March 2017. The analysis of the National Multi-Hazard Early Warning Center of Weather Forecast shows chances of a trough of low pressure system over the south and starting from tomorrow, Friday, and lasting for the following three days. Heavy rain is expected to affect the governor 
Governorate of Musandam and extending gradually to Governorates of Al Barami, Al Zahira, North and South Al Batina, Masqat Al Dakhiliya, North and South Al Sharqiya. The intensity of rain is expected to vary from light to heavy ice associated with thunder showers, gusty winds and hails causing wadis to overflow. Fresh southeasterly winds will cause dust raising winds and deterioration in horizontal visibility of a desert area. Seas will be moderate to rough with a maximum wave height of 3 meters. The Public Authority for Civil Aviation advises all to follow weather bulletins, take precautions and not to cross over overflowing wadis. You're watching this out on the Top of Man television and still to come in our news bulletin. Local English-speaking media representatives visited the special economic zone at Dukum to acquaint themselves with their ongoing projects and the investment opportunities at the zone. Welcome back uh, to the Sultanate of Oman Television with this news bulletin. The bilateral relations between the Sultanate and India was the main aspects of talks between His Excellency Sayyid Khalid bin Hilal Al Busaidi, Minister of the Diwan of the Royal Court, and His Excellency Indramani Pandey, Ambassador of India, accredited to the Sultanate. During the talks, they exchanged points of view and means of supporting their relations in several domains, in addition to reviewing a number of matters of mutual concern. At a cost of more than 700,000 Omani Rials, the Ministry of Health and Oman LNG Development Foundation signed a financing agreement to establish a quarantine ward at Sewer Hospital in the Governorate of South Sharqiya. The agreement will ensure early diagnosis and non-transmission of infections to other patients or the hospital staff. It was signed on behalf of the Minister of Health by His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed al Saidi, Minister of Health, and from the other side by Khalid bin Abdullah al Missing Oman LNG Chief Executive Officer. Developing health services and delivering those appropriate health services to all citizens and residents in the South and top discussions of His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Saidi, Minister of Health, when he chaired the comprehensive administrative meeting held at the ministry. The meeting discussed the importance of intensifying efforts to enhance administrative efficiencies and placing them in a suitable positions in addition to distributions of medical cadres in different governorates besides paying attention to those cadres through continuous training and qualifications of human resources in order to fulfill health demands of the citizens efficiently. Within efforts exerted by the Minister of Health uh, to spread health culture among individuals of the society, the Nutrition Department at the Ministry marked the World Salt Awareness Week. The objective of the event is to spread awareness on the importance of gradual and sustainable reduction of salt consumption on the national level with uh, a strategic plan meant to dec decrease the rates of exposure to strokes, heart diseases, obesity and diabetes. The plan will contribute in achieving global voluntary goals in the field of controlling non-communicable diseases by 2025. National efforts are being exerted to employ the graduates of intellectual disability and acquaint to the society with the rights and obligations of this segment of the society. Coinciding with the World Down Syndrome Day, the Minister of Education organized a discussion seminar to find solutions for the future of intellectually disabled people and mechanisms for their employment as the ministry celebrated the graduation of the 23rd batch of their school. They were trained to be part of the labor market. 35 male and female students graduated from the school this year after being trained in the National Institute and some commercial centers to qualify them to join the work market. 
A delegation of the local English-speaking media representatives paid a visit to the special economic zone at Dukum to explore the ongoing projects and the investment opportunities. More details in the following report by Saleh bin Khalfan al-Rahbi. The Special Economic Zone Authority at Dukum, CZAD, organized an introductory visit for representatives of the local English-speaking media in order to familiarize them with the ongoing projects and the incentives and facilities provided for investors. The visit was the first of its kind, where the delegation was also briefed by the officials of CZAD about the investment opportunities available in Dukum. Our doors are open for any sort of opportunity uh, of investment. Uh, this, the area is around 2,000 kilometers. It's uh, well, the largest free zone in the Middle East. Uh, it can accommodate any sort of investment anyone can think of. So we, we might limit this to uh, certain areas, but the scope is open for any investment and any sort of investment that want to come. During the visit, the local English-speaking media representatives went on a tour to get a closer insight of the Renaissance village, the CZAD model, Sibasque refinery and the dry dock. The uh, dry dock can cater for many more ships. The capacity now is around 100 uh, ships a year. The dry dock capacity, it has been built for 200 ships a year. Now to meet that true potential, we have uh, been working very hard to upgrade the skill level upgrade the kind of services we give to the ships and at the same time we are increasing the number of people because it's a labor intensive industry to cater for the true potential of this project which has been built and owned by the government of Oman. In addition, the delegation visited the project of 150 housing units which were built for local citizens. The need of initiating this project is to be a part of the compensation a project to to relocate the existing community from the existing bridge and to relocate them in this project right now we are this development is uh, will have around 150 villas with a mosque with a common hall a majlis plus two shops we have a parking area plus we have located few plots for uh, public school clinic and some other government uh, authorities the local English-speaking media representatives concluded their tour by stopping at the Rock Garden. So we are really pleased to, to see such great and uh, huge projects that are uh, underway uh, and uh, uh, many of the leading companies, local companies, that they are contributing to the development of this part. It is worth mentioning that the Special Economic Zone in Dukum is a distinctive investment area and it is considered a regional hub for maritime transport and a logistics supply gateway for the GCC region. Indeed, the strategic location, the high standard project and the ongoing infrastructure development make this special zone at Dukum a unique investment environment for all investors inside and outside the Sultanate. From the Special Economic Zone at Dukum, Saleh bin Khalfan al-Rahbi, al-Wasta, Governorate. Oman, In My Soul, is an exhibition at Beta Zubair for an Italian fine artist. Through her artistic works, the Italian artist Lucia Oliva embodied its love for Oman since its first visit to the country. It depicted the deep-rooted identity of Oman and its rich culture. She showcased 11 works drawn on marble pieces and decorated by using gold and silver peppers. The Sultanate uh, took part in the World Winter Games of the Special Olympics at uh, Schlumbing uh, City in Austria. It is the largest sports event in the world for intellectually disabled people. Four Omani participants took part and compete, completed or competed in the event which included 2,700 participants from 107 countries in the world. They achieved advanced positions in sports competitions. Talking during the event, His Highness Said Faisal bin Turkey Al Said, Chairman of Oman Special Olympiad, pointed out two challenges facing this segment of the society, calling for the concentrated efforts to involve them in the society.
You're watching the South on the Tour of Man television and before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. Sultanate condemns the terrorist attacks on the Westminster Bridge in front of the British Parliament building. An engineering scheme and investment choices of the project of Oman University and the City of Science and Technology are reviewed. The final race of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos's Cup for Camel Race is concluded in the Willai of Barca. And at a cost of 100 million Omani rials, the Minister of Tourism signs an agreement to develop the first phase of Korea touristic complex. With that, we do conclude this news bulletin brought to you live from this news center of the Sultanate of Oman television. From the entire news team and myself, we do thank you for joining us. Wish you a pleasant evening and good night.